Hey guys, I'm super excited to welcome you to the final video of this painting. It has been a long time in coming, let me tell you. Um, so as promised, I'm showing you how to stretch the canvas onto a frame first. Um, a painted canvas onto the frame. It's a little bit different than stretching just like normal canvas onto a frame. I actually found it like way harder to do. It was uh, really difficult. I ended up having a blister. Um, it took me 40 minutes. Uh, stretching canvases usually it takes me about 20 minutes for a canvas's size. Um, this is, by the way, a 24 by 30 uh, frame. It's pre-made from Support Surface, um, which is a local company in Montreal, and they just make the best frames. I mean, they have one side that has like a deeper groove, I guess you could say, than the other side. And that's the side that you're supposed to put down against the canvas. Um, and so there was a whole bunch of uh, just kind of positioning and worrying about uh, where everything was to begin with. And a lot of stapling and removing of the staples and kind of just pinning things in place and seeing how it was going. Um, so the whole thing with the canvas stretching pliers is, well, first of all, there's a wider grippy part, which you can see. But on the underside, there is like this metal square thing, I guess you could say. And you kind of use that like as a fulcrum or like a leverage point. And that really just kind of wrenches the canvas around and uh, make sure that, you know, you're getting the canvas as taut as possible. Um, the big, big problem with uh, using a canvas that's already been painted on is that uh, like normally when I stretch canvas, I can put a uh, gesso on afterwards and the gesso actually really tightens up the canvas like a drum. So as it's already painted, I don't have that option. Um, so it had to be really almost perfect when I got it on there. Um, my last resort plan was to spray water on the back of it, but I actually did, ended up doing a pretty good job. So sorry that this is sped up so much, but honestly, it was like pretty boring in real time. So if you have any questions or anything, just let me know and I'll try and respond the, the best that I can. Um, but I'm in no means an expert to this canvas stretching. Uh, the whole idea is to uh, obviously staple all four sides first and then I'm not sure if you're supposed to do the long side first or the short side first. Um, but regardless, you kind of work your way around and you don't do everything all on one side all at once. Um, I mean, the whole idea is there's a lot of ideas, really. Um, you just try and uh, get a feel for where the canvas is, and you keep an eye out for any wrinkles or any soft bits, and you kind of just uh, want to work with them. Um, with this canvas in particular, I actually just put a couple of uh, staples in temporarily to pin it as I was working on some of the sides. Uh, just to make sure that the canvas was going where I wanted it to go. Um, so you can see that there's a whole bunch of leveraging going on. And um, I'm actually really hoping that you can see how I tuck the corners in. Because that's really the most compli complicated part of this whole process. Um, you kind of just got to fold it in on itself. And I highly recommend, like, you either, you got to fold them in all onto the uh, same edge, like the short edge or the long edge. You can see that I decided to put the lump on the short edge instead of the long edge. But you just want to really keep things uniform. Um, I also did a, a little bit of extra trimming because I was having a hard time tucking it in. And I think that's perfectly okay to do. I mean, it just makes the whole thing look a whole bunch um, more tidy, if you will. So excuse my socks there. They're painty. I don't seem to own any socks anymore that uh, aren't covered in paint. Um, 
and I seem to lack restraint to which socks I wear. Anyways, to the fun part. Um, so my whole idea was adding back negative space with a ribbon. And I was doing that with white and black. I mean, the black kind of it makes it not negative space anymore. But I really wanted to make sure that you could see the movement in the ribbon. And, like, you could tell that I flipped it on one side. Uh, my first couple of attempts were terrible. And I had to redo them. Luckily, it was relatively easy to wipe off the, the tape. The tape, the ribbon. And this ribbon, uh, I ended up uh, being fairly happy with. I mean, there's parts that I wish that I hadn't covered up, and there's parts that I wish I had covered up. But in the end, I think that it made it look pretty interesting and kind of just calmed down the busyness of it. And I think it looks pretty cool. I mean, I hope you like it. I do, and I'm glad that I put the effort in and, you know, follow through with this painting. And I'm interested to hear what you guys think. And I'm ready to move on to my next technique because I have a, a new inspiration in mind that I'm very excited to try out. So thank you very much for hanging in there with me and all your suggestions and um, encouraging comments. And yeah, it was much appreciated. Um, yeah, so... Make sure you've subscribed to my channel. If you liked it, remember to hit like, and I'll see you next time. Have a great day. Bye.